What's your biggest concern around AI? I think that uh, there, there's a lot to be focused on and concerned with in AI because it is it is such a big wave and it's going to be uh, transformational. I think there's a couple of things, one of which is it's moving so quickly, um, it, it would be easy to uh, anticipate wrong, to guess wrong, and to, to build the wrong things that don't turn out to be exactly what, what customers need the most. And so it's really important for us to be incredibly close to our customers. and. Uh, we have uh, an advantage in that we we have these deep, deep multi-year relationships with not only the leading startups, but with uh, big enterprises, you know, in financial services, that's National Australia Bank and Capital One and JP Morgan Chase and HBSC and many others, Santander, uh, and uh, that's just financial services. You can kind of go through those same type of lists in other industries. And I think they, uh, uh, they keep us on track. Uh, they tell us you know, what we need to build. And, and again, it's, it's not just them, it's the hottest startups in the world, the, uh, the anthropics, the perplexities, the pool sides, the hugging faces, uh, who, who really help to, to determine our roadmap. So I think that's one issue is making sure that we, we get it right. Customers need, need a lot in a short period of time and we really have to deliver. And then the second is responsible AI and AI safety and making sure that we do our part as leaders to ensure that customers can use AI responsibly. And we've built a lot of features in that automatically promote AI safety and responsible AI into the services that, uh, that we're releasing. I think that's one of a few big reasons why so many customers, tens of thousands of customers, are now using services like Amazon Bedrock to manage and use their AI models.